This is Tun Sprouts, commonly called Chinese cedar, Chinese mahogany, beef and onion plant, a species of tuna native to Eastern and Southeastern Asia. We have some in our front yard. This is the first one. This is the second. They are still very small. Let's go get it checked out. I got this one uh, yeah, last night and on the way back home from a park. I was thinking next day, which is this morning, I should go to a morning market to buy some vegetable because I run out of vegetable. However, luckily I found this guy. I'm so happy. And also bought some other vegetable. Oh, this is um, honey, what melon? No, honey melon. I tasted one last night, right after I came back. It's not in season, but very tasty. So the recipe just a chop to sprout and fry with egg, crumble eggs, but no butter because Chinese don't really eat butter. And also I may make some pancake with chai. Let's get it started. Jesus, that's that aromatic. So you just chop it. Right now I'm just need a one a crack the egg. Let's just crack the egg. Okay. Oh my god! Look guys, you're so lucky, see. Oh my god. Surprise, eh? What is that? Two egg yo. Two egg yo. Hey, is today my lucky day? <laughs> Surprise, eh? Twin brothers, twin sisters. Let me just add some salt. That's it. Very simple recipe. Okay, so now transfer and give it a blend. Can you see? Okay. Give it a blend and fry it. That's it. Very simple. Very simple. Let's go to spot. So I only have half for today's recipe in pancake and leave this half for next time. Okay, this is almost the roots. You cut uh, the stem, okay, leave the roots there because they will come out again. When you see the color reddish, this is the best taste. It's also aromatic. And I'm cooking pancake. which is a very good taste in, chi in China because if you bought in Chinatown you never see the red color you always see green and the stem so big which is less tasty than the real jiu cai from Chinese name jiu cai it's small and uh, strong flavor Down. I will not end eggs because Xiangchun, which is tuned sprout, has already eggs, so I only add some salt and with the pancake. That's it. Let's go pancake. Finished. My meal's ready. So first one chai pancake. Jiao Cai He Zi Pancake and second one 
tum sprout, which is a xiang chun, xiang chun. And also, I got this one in Mandarin, which is qiao mai, qiao, tea, qiao mai, tea, um, buckwheat, and I made a tea for myself. Hmm, let's try xiang chun. Mm. A little salty, and too much salt, but I still can taste the aromatic, strong flavor there. It comes mostly, it comes from the stem. Mm. I miss it so, so, so much. You never ever can buy it from Canada, Chinatown, no. Mm. Mm. Steam band, whole weight steam band. You can see. Mmm. Mmm. I try the pancake. Jiao cai he zi. I didn't add eggs because Xiangchuns already have eggs. So. I didn't add eggs. Mm. Yeah, drink my buckwheat chow mai. Buckwheat chow mai. Mm. Very good. I like the color. Mm -hmm. oh. I don't think Chinatown they sell. You can get from China. Chao Mai Cha, Chao Mai Tea Cha. I try this. Mm. 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 Wow, strong Jiao Cai flavor. Infused. Mm. Great. When I was a kid in China, my grandma cooked this. A lot. I love it. Mm. So that's all today's video. Better not eating, chewing and talking. But I will have to say bye. Because you have learned three new words. Actually it's four. One is Jiao Cai. The second Xiang Chun. The fourth Chiao Mai. The last one, which is the band, Mantle, and I'll see you next time.